So, showing the iTunes syncing and everything, let's take a look now at uh, the actual media players. So, I'll go back here. Hello. And there's a video player and a music player. They're separate. We'll look at the music player first. Also, there's the Pandora app. Well, that, that I had to download, but um, that also works quite nicely. But we'll look at just the media players here for now. So, the basic music library, 125 so, uh, songs in here. You can shuffle all, you can go artist, albums, song, genres, playlists, or you can go to the Amazon MP3 store. Uh, that down in the corner is just a notification that I have a new email. Go up to the uh, music menu here, and there's not really anything doing. There's help file, and then edit is just your standard edit menu that's always up there. And let's go to songs. This will be a little better way to show you searching. So uh, I know there's a song in here called Golden Age. So G-O-L, I just start typing, and it automatically drills down to show me anything that has these letters in it. So just with a G, you get a whole bunch of stuff, 38. G-O, it drills down a little. And you can see the search is fast. It's nice. All right, so now I can hit Golden Age, and songs start playing. And so when you're in play mode, volume control on the side. Um, I've tried this out of the 35 millimeter jack hooked up to headphones and to a stereo system. Sounds great. Sounds pretty much on par with you know anything else you're going to want to use. Uh, you've got controls here. If you hit the volume control, you can see the, mini the window kind of minimizes itself a little bit to show the volume. And then it goes back after a, a second there. And um, you've got your album cover view. And when you scroll through, it actually switches the song. So this goes to a live version of Golden Age that doesn't have any album art. This goes back to the next song. It's all alph alphabetical here. So that's actually switching through songs. And this is all songs. So it's actually just going through in alphabetical order. It's no longer just TV on the radio. Um, so we'll go back here. You can also turn on shuffle mode. And you can see, actually, your songs will... Uh, your album car, uh, cover art will shuffle to show you what's coming next, which is kind of fun, actually. Uh, and then you've got repeat or repeat just one track. And you can see down there the indicator switches. You can go list mode. And list mode, I'm in shuffle now. So you can see if, uh, you know, fast forward a song. go out of shuffle and it switches back to alphabetical mode hit shuffle again and you can see the list actually shuffles up which again is kind of fun um, in list mode here is where you actually get to see the progress bar if you notice in the album cover art there's no progress bar so you can uh, scan through a song you can scrub through a song by pressing and holding but you get no visual indicator of where you are in the song which, you know, may or may not be a big deal to you. If you go to the list view, you get actually both a progress bar, which at first might not be apparent. I actually didn't realize at first this was what's going on. Uh, to you, it might be pretty obvious, especially since my finger's right there. <laughs> but anyway, so you can see a visual indicator, that blue on blue, of how far along the song you are, and then the numerical indicator of your uh, track time and then elapsed time remaining over there on the right side. Get that a little closer up so you can see. And then you can just tap on a song to go to a different song, or you can hit the button once to fast forward and rewind, and so on. Now while songs are playing, of course, <clears throat> you can call up the uh, launcher bar there, and you can go and you can do something else. So I don't know, I'll check my Twitter. And the music keeps playing. And you've got a music indicator now there in the bottom that'll let you know you've got music playing. Oh, right, what's up, Vincent? Got to see Vincent from Slash Gear ever so briefly at WWDC yesterday. And then I hit the indicator bar, and I've got a little mini music player there, which is kind of nice. If I tap on it, it'll take me back to the full music player. And then, of course, I can gesture up and get the cards view. So, pretty cool. The, uh, you know, works really well. It's smooth. When you get a lot of applications running at once, because the Pre can do multitasking to no end, basically, uh, you can, I have been able to get the music player to stutter, basically, by, by having several cards open at once. Um, 
You know, that's just kind of the way it is with a, a full-on multitasking system like a desktop computer. You kind of have to manage manage it for yourself. If, uh, you know, if your music's stuttering, take a look. And if you've got 18 things running, you know, kill a few because that's, that's just going to happen. There's only so much juice in here. But generally speaking, um, you know, it's worked pretty well. Um, there's no equalizer, which may or may not be a big deal to you. Uh, to me, you know, since most smartphone platforms, the MP3 players have music, have equalizers now. That was something I was a little disappointed, but we may see that in a future update. And, uh, you know, again, there you go. I like the implementation of um, the little mini player there on the bottom. Really pretty nice. You can also just kind of slide it and get rid of it. But then the player is obviously still open. It's just you got rid of the little mini indicator there. No hardware buttons to control playback on the phone. Um, not really very many hardware buttons at all on the phone, so that's one thing to keep in mind, I suppose. Again, you know, some smartphones have it, some don't. Uh, we'll take a look now at the, um, go back here to the Amazon MP3 experience. And so if you hit Amazon MP3 on the bottom, you get a new card, takes you to the Amazon MP3 store. And it takes a little second to, to load up, but there you go. Nice kind of visual scrolling interface here. Kind of reminiscent, actually, of the Android App Store with the scrolling there. Um, and then you've got your top 100. So pretty, pretty bare-bones interface. But uh, we'll take a look at the new Most Deaf album. And so you've got, you know, a little mini rating there. Um, you can buy the entire album. You can buy track by track. For four bucks, this is a pretty good deal, actually. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy it because I'm a most deaf fan. I haven't heard this one yet. So, and so you have to be signed in. I have not yet signed in, signed in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. I'm in, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to buy, and I'm only over Wi-Fi. So, get myself hooked up on some Wi-Fi here. And it should automatically remember my network. And it did. And so I'll go to my download queue. And it's going to let me. Is there a way to, to retry all of them at once, or do I have to go one by one? Well, I'll just queue them all up. We'll see what happens. This is my first time doing this, so. And so there you go. Uh, simultaneously, I've got two going right now. You can see the progress bar. And there's the Amazon MP3 experience. While that's happening, let's see if I can go back. No, okay. So it's going to keep me in downloads. Can I go back now? Maybe I can go back and see if I can keep browsing while uh, it's downloading. And yeah, it looks like I can because I've got a little download indicator there on the bottom. And so if I wanted to, I could keep looking, and I could say, uh, oh, Rock of Ages, various artists, original, oh, this looks pretty dicey. Huh. Interesting. What is this? All these 80s power rock tunes. Well... Steve Perry O'Sherry is not Power Rock, but, uh, so the MP3 experience here, you know, it works. Uh, there's not the full-on, you know, iTunes is the first one that comes to mind just because they're the uh, dominant music, uh, download service, whether you're on an iPhone or not, you know, from your computer, iTunes is obviously hugely popular, and you don't have the full, you know, all the accoutrements, all the various Genius Bar and custom playlists and all the marketing stuff, basically, on the iTunes store that you get on, uh, you don't get that on the Amazon MP3 store. So it'll be interesting to see if, you know, Palm and Amazon and Sprint keep this kind of bare bones the way it is or if they kind of truss it up as we go forward. And obviously it's not the regular Sprint music store. It's the Amazon MP3 store, which is notable as well. So my downloads are progressing. Got two of them done already. And so let's actually see if we can go back then. And let's see if uh, my... Yep. Yeah. That's nice. My uh, library updated itself. And we'll get the new most deaf plan. And there you go.
All right, so while the uh, downloads are continuing, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the video player. Now also, you might have seen the icon flash by Sprint TV also uh, is enabled on this device, but we're not going to look at that right now. We're just going to look at the video, the video player. So Have Fun is the uh, demo tour video that came with the pre, pre-installed. It actually, uh, actually, is this the same one that loaded up when I first launched the pre? Yeah, I think it is. And this is actually in, uh, this is a portrait mode video. And so there's your video player. And when you tap, you get basic control bar. You can scrub. I'll do that again. You can scrub. You can pause and play. You can uh, supposedly you can go in and out of uh, full screen mode, but you know not much happened at least in this video. But scrubbing is pretty responsive, and it's not really scrubbing so much, I guess, as scanning because it doesn't actually move while I'm going. Um, so if I go back a swipe here, we'll go to this 30 Rock TV episode that I loaded on from my computer. And this is a high-res file. So when I was playing back before, I had a little bit of stutter here and there because it's pretty, you know, high-def, pretty uh, big file, 220 meg file. But you can see now it's playing fine. And there's other stuff going on in the background as well. I'll turn this down so you can hear me. And... Uh, you know, when I swipe up, it, it pauses for a second. Or actually, I may have actually paused the video here. Yeah, I think I did. No, it stayed paused. All right. But I can go back, and I've got it going in a window there. I can keep it. I can go back. I can check on my downloads and see. All right, you know, not quite done yet, so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to watch a little more of the video. And that's kind of the whole point of the multitasking, right? So you can kind of keep tabbing different things at the same time. You can see it does actually zoom in a little bit there to fill the screen. So this is a widescreen video. Uh, well, I don't want to know because I don't remember what the aspect ratio is in the video, so I don't want to mislead you. But basically, it does kind of zoom out. You get letterboxing here, or you can tap that button, and it'll stretch to fill the screen. Again, you know... Pretty basic, um, but it works, right? It's attractive, it works, and, uh, you know, for, again, for a first-generation device on a platform that was just released, uh, a lot of really smooth-functioning stuff here, plenty of room to add on the trimming later, but so far, so good. So there's a look, again, at the uh, Palm Pre music and video experience syncing via iTunes. You can also, of course, sync via, there's no SD slide or anything. It's 8 gigs of internal memory, so you can just hook this up via USB to your phone, or to your computer, rather, Mac or PC. You can sync over iTunes via Mac or PC, or you can just drag and drop in USB mode to get your stuff on there. You can buy stuff over Amazon MP3. Uh, there's no iTunes-style video download service yet. There is, of course, the Sprint TV right there, and there's a YouTube client, and we'll get into that stuff later because this video has been going on for long enough now. All right, so with even more on the Palm Pre, I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Much, much more on the Pre and all the other new phones available on PhoneDog, and uh, you can follow me right there on Twitter, PhoneDog underscore Noah. Also, the other PhoneDog folks are on there, so you know, just go to Twitter, search for PhoneDog, you'll find us. All right, till next time, thanks for watching. See you later.